This is the 2022 Ninja 1000 SX. It just came into the dealership today. I've been waiting for several months to actually see this 2022 version in real life. I've seen a 2016 version, the older generation, which I quite enjoyed. But I was looking, looking forward to the latest and greatest model in this uh, year's uh, range. And seeing it for the first time, I like the way it looks. It's in the black with the red stripe finish. And I had to, I when I heard about this, it was in the dealership. I went actually to the store immediately to check it out. It is an engine. It has the 1000 uh, CC, 1042 CC engine plant that I'm extremely familiar with because I had a similar engine on my 2015 Ninja ZX 10R, which I absolutely love. But the engine on this is detuned. It does not generate the full maximum power that my ZX 10R had. This is a reduced detuned ZX 14, ZX 10R engine with about 145 horsepower. And I've ridden this engine. I've tested it out on the Versus. It's the same engine as is in the Versus. Check out my video on that. And I like this engine a lot because it has a lot of pull and a lot of power even in the lower to mid revolutions compared to my zx10r which was generating all the torque and the power up high so and i feel this engine is also smoother uh, it runs smoother than my uh, zx10r engine it's very smooth it's buttery smooth enjoy it a lot and it's got more than enough power for california freeways and american freeways and american riding and Sit, I sat on this bike at the dealership and it is very roomy. It sits up quite tall. Uh, I was surprised how tall I was sitting on the bike, but there is significant room. I'm six foot two and there is significant, there is a lot of room for me. I'm not cramped for space. I like the way the clip-ons are added to this handlebar. It's just a nice, comfortable cockpit bars are nice and wide and it's not very aggressive you sit up straight and you sit up comfortably with a slight forward lean and it is very comfortable i like the wind protection on this bike because the fairings are quite wide it is uh, i would say a fat bike it is fat because when you sit on the cabin it feels fat and the windshield on this is good in the sense that it is adjustable but i do think it is a little small considering how big this bike is uh, the, considering the size of the bike the windscreen seemed a little small and the tft display compared to the suzuki gt 1000 uh, gx uh, gsx 1000 gt is much smaller and um, i do like the way it looks i do like the way this bike rides and i think it is very good value for in here in usa because it retails for 12899 one of this bike came in at the San Francisco dealership and it got immediately sold. So I went to another dealership to check it out. It hasn't sold here because the dealer is asking for a significant markup, about $2,000 over the MSRP. Hence, it's sitting on the lot. That's why it's not selling. However, the other one uh, was marked up about $1,000 over MSRP and that sold very quickly within five days. So in... In conclusion, I was considering, strongly considering getting this bike. However, now that I've seen the Suzuki GS, uh, GS, uh, GS, uh, X 1000 GT, I think I'm leaning towards getting the Suzuki ahead of this because this bike looks a little outdated compared to the Suzuki and the Suzuki has a bigger wind, a big, bigger TFT screen and Brembo brakes but it does not have an adjustable windscreen compared to this. However, I think the Suzuki looks like an R1. So I'm right now leaning towards getting the Suzuki over this Ninja. However, I, th I think you can't go wrong with both bikes. I think both are good bikes, but this bike just looks design wise. It looks a little outdated compared to the Suzuki. So those are my thoughts on the Ninja 1000 SX. Stay tuned for more videos. Cheers and have a great day.